My name is Mohammad Shakib and this is Master Deck. So today we are going to install Lineage OS on a Redmi Note 3. This is the new build from uh, Lineage OS which released today. So it's a 7th of February build. So we are going to install that on a Redmi Note 3. So first thing you have to do is just power off your device. Then you have to press the power button and volume up button at the same time for a couple of seconds. Make sure you take a backup before installing anything. So take a backup if you are goes anything wrong then select here and restore it from here. So let me go back and then you have to go to the wipe, go to advanced wipe, check everything except internal storage and a micro SD card. Then you have to swipe to wipe. Then you have to go to the install. So this is the build. Uh, here is the Lineage OS 14.1 and this build is uh, a February 7th build. So let's just uh, select this. Then you have to just swipe to confirm flash. So the ROM is successfully installed. Now you have to go back and install the gaps file which uh, you want to install and just uh, select here then you have to simply swipe to confirm flash the rom and gaps file are successfully installed now you have to do just hit the reboot system then you have to just hit the reboot system from here So we are on a latest build which is uh, 7th of February so this is the lineage OS and we are have uh, not a lot of things audio effects uh, we will get with other also and uh, we also have a video recorder and uh, it's pretty snappy for that moment yeah it's a new build so. let me show you if i call a geo customer care then uh, you can't he hear anything uh, the call is going through but the, you, you can't hear the voice of uh, anything the speaker is not uh, working so for that vld uh, works fine on this device but i don't know why it's not working on my device here edit button you can edit this and you can drag this tile onto this uh, onto here like this which is pretty useful if you want to drag and drop any other tile so let me go to the settings and I'll show you in the about section uh, so this is uh, let me go to the about and this is uh, the uh, lineage OS as you guys can see over here and it based on 7.1.1 this is a 20 this is a February 7th bill uh, let me tap over here and you can see uh, it on the screen the logo of lineage OS so yeah let me go back and uh, here is the build number and here is the redmi note 3 and all this stuff so here is also you get a regular update if uh, any other build comes out in a uh, next week or so so you can update from here which is pretty useful uh, it you can manually select the update for uh, week or daily or anything so yeah that's uh, test and to the benchmark and we got the score of 83307 on Android benchmark which is uh, really great uh, for this is the official lineage OS build which is a uh, 7th february build which is really good so here 
uh, the toggle and let me go to the settings and show you or uh, more awesome things about this rom nothing uh, nothing special here as kind of you can jump to the camera if you are um, press the power button and double tap to sleep which is uh, already there on a cyanogen mod previously so over here you can enable from button you can enable a uh, navigation uh, navigation bar from here if you click over here and it will uh, come up the navigation bar uh, so you can customize the way you want on this there is a many many option on that so so we do have a uh, so we do have a status bar which is uh, available in all all the all the ROMs uh, from now you can uh, here is you can enable the status bar uh, menu or disable it from uh, from that so yeah uh, and you can do a hell lot of things here like uh, you can change the position position of clock like this which is uh, which is kind of a helpful uh, if you are want to have a clock in the center you can change the a battery percentage icon to any other icon which you like so yeah you can also uh, try to have a icon like this or you either you have a uh, text like this so this is a pretty useful features of, of status bar which I personally like so as you guys can see over here you can enable the EM or PM also on this you can also do a quick pull down notification like this if you goes on the right and if you goes on the left you can't pull down more so that's a pretty cool thing you can enable a brightness control across sliding across the status bar which is kind of a helpful if you are in a sunlight and you want to uh, you can't see the display you can uh, just go it over on uh, your status bar and just bright it up your display uh, it is kind of a, a helpful in that way so uh, other than that show notification count it's the same and let me go back and I think that's uh, pretty much it for the features uh, on this ROM so yeah and that's uh, a pretty cool thing by the way so we are going to test uh, the camera the camera is more important thing in this ROM I think so it doesn't work properly the camera is still buggy and laggy sometime let me try it one more time if it's work so camera has a pretty serious problem uh, over there over the any rom we uh, we install with the nougat it doesn't work uh, it doesn't perform uh, well or stable this is unstable camera for now you can also clear all uh, by doing this and you can also do a split screen like this if you want to this is a pretty cool feature of nougat uh, if you don't already know this is a really good feature you can do a multitasking on this if you want to have a two window at the same time so yeah pretty useful thing on uh, any ROM so you can pull down like this if you want to exit it the split screen and we are going to do a one more test uh, uh, one more time if the camera work or not so yeah uh, it does open but I don't think so it it to perform or it kind of a doing anything it will be lag soon I think so let me go to the video recording and uh, let me go to the video recording and now he is has a serious issue with this camera I don't know why so yeah the camera doesn't work or perform really well doesn't perform really well I think it's a buggy camera uh, on other things uh, we have to mention that uh, let's uh, it's pretty smooth by the way the app drawer are uh, very smooth we do also get uh, audio recording 
pre-installed with this ROM and also the screen recording which is kind of a helpful if you want to help any other friend who don't know how to set up the the app or how to build anything like that how, how to draw so that's a, a pretty helpful uh, on that way you do also get a screen recorder and it's pretty uh, it's pretty snappy by the way so one one more thing on this rom we're gonna check out this flashlight or flashlight it performs kind of a buggy and not all the time fingerprint is working on this rom that's all guys thank you for watching please make sure to subscribe to my channel over here and please make sure to like share and subscribe and do watch my other videos also on my channel and that's all thank you for watching and stay connected bye bye